This week in our Hometown Spotlight series, we head up to Piers and tour the historic church on the hill. Of all the churches I've been in, I still think this is the best. St. Joseph Church was built in 1885 before the town was officially known as Piers. The original name of the town was Rich Prairie because unlike much of the area we had a lot of trees, part of this is more prairie without a lot of trees on it and it was good farmland. Uh, Father Piers was the original missionary in the area. He started the parish and, and uh, then they renamed the town after him because he had so much to do with getting it started. Dan Loshire and Al Pekarik are members of the parish council. They say St. Joseph's has had a long-standing history for many generations. My great-grandparents were parishioners here at St. Joseph's. My grandparents were. I was gone for 38 years and came back in 1998 and wow, the church is still here. Over the years, the church has remained the same, holding many weekly masses and other services, with the exception of a few expansion projects along the way. The church was even added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places back in 1985. To me, it's, it's a nice representation of the faith. But with each year that passes, the church's age starts to show. Lowscheider says they are in the process of fundraising to help preserve its history. The next thing on our agenda is to uh, make sure that our stained glass windows are preserved for the future. They were all redone about 20 years ago, put into aluminum frames, and then the aluminum frame windows were set back into the original wood frames, which are de deteriorating and rotting. Lowscheider and Pekarik says St. Joseph holds a special place in the hearts of the parishioners, with many of them calling it home. Having a good, close-knit community, and that's what Piers is, and that's what our church is. Reporting from Piers, Alex Wykowski, WJON.